if you've made it this far, you've got to have an idea of what EV is, right? Blender 2.8's brand new sort of real-time render engine has gotten a ton of hype. We've all seen the demos. We all know it's the coolest thing in the world. But if you're new to real-time rendering, it might be a little bit overwhelming or it might be a little bit underwhelming and that's super fine. The features that our new Blender renderer brings are super awesome though. And, and the Hyperona is real. Even though it operates at a sort of real-time speed, it still allows you to crank up the samples. Additionally, it uses the same node system that Cycles does, and you can switch back and forth really easily. In short, Eevee brings us a whole new and very exciting toolset for us to play with, but it is a toolset that is more gimmicky and puts a little bit more into your hands as a designer. If you don't know what you're doing with it, it's gonna fall apart really quickly. In this course, I'm gonna break down what Eevee provides and figure out what these new tools are. I'm gonna cover Eevee's strengths and weaknesses so that you know what you're dealing with, and I'm gonna show you some practical examples of how to use these features. I'm gonna be sprinkling in some design wisdom along the way. So hopefully this can give you some inspiration for your own projects in Eevee. What I'm not gonna tell you is what buttons you need to push. There's tons of tutorials to go watch if you're just getting into Blender. So if you aren't comfortable in our favorite 3D program, you should probably go check those out first. I'm approaching this as a designer and as an animator myself. So I'm gonna talk about how these things work, but I'm gonna talk about more if and when you should use those things as a concept. My background is in motion design and architecture rendering, and I'm going to be approaching this as an artist, not as a technical artist. I'm not going to tell you the math behind every feature, but I will show you my experience as an artist working with these tools and an understanding of how to make things look compelling. My goal is to give you enough of a technical understanding to make these tools work for you so that you can make your projects look good. Secondarily, I want to inspire you to experiment and play around with the tools because Eevee has a lot to offer. So what do you need to know going into Eevee? Eevee is not going to replace Cycles. If you're looking for a Recycles renders but fast, you're looking in the wrong place. Eevee's real-time nature means that it trades in realism for speed, and that means that you're going to have to be creative and design around that. Eevee does understand itself though, and it's got tools to deal with its limitations, but it's going to be up to you to be the problem solver who bridges that gap. You can design the render that you want, and I hope that this course gives you the tools to get there. Additionally, if you are familiar with other real-time engines like Marmoset or Unreal Engine, you're going to find some odd holes in places. Eevee is still a baby of a render engine, and as of this recording, it's in beta. It doesn't have the range of features that you might be familiar with in some more developed render engines. That all being said, I do believe in Eevee, and I'm really excited about the tools that it's bringing us. I think that while there are some annoying things, the tools that it brings are really exciting, and I feel like great things are on the horizon. It's still young, but already it's enabled some incredible projects. So thanks for checking it out. And I hope that you get something out of this course. As a quick overview, I'm gonna talk really quickly about collections because they're pretty awesome. And then we're gonna jump into EV with lights, effects, transparency, materials, cool things about materials, I guess, normal maps and normal editing. So that's a lot. Something for the whole family, as they say. That's the story. Go enjoy the course.